ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up Hello for God. and welcome to the Barley. This is the place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a place where the Holy Spirit speak. If you are returning, welcome. Praise God. You know what it is. We are moving into things of God, consecrating to the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we are obedient vessels. Praise God. Yes, obedient vessels. What does that mean? We are going to do what God tells us to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're not going to delay our progress by not following the Lord's instructions, but we're going to follow the Lord's instructions and receive what God has for us in the mighty name of Jesus, because we know that what he gives us, he also uses it to impact others, because it's not just about us, but it's about others too. And we're so grateful to be chosen by God and to move in his presence. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is day two of the fast. You have made it to the end. Praise God. Congratulations to each and every one of you who are seeking uh, steadfast to the fast. Praise God. You are standing on the word of God, doing exactly what you are called to do, to eat clean during these hours. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I just pray that even after these hours, you continue to, to move in the clean habits of eating, that you don't overdo anything. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's where we put those old habits down. We die of the flesh and we pick up more of the spirit by reading the word regurgitating the word hallelujah because it has settled in us we are eating this word by our reading we are eating the word by our reading and we're able to regurgitate the word that has been placed in us hallelujah and when we're able to regurgitate it that means you're able to speak it you're able to pronounce it you're able to declare it you're able to proclaim it praise god hallelujah and stand on it firmly if you don't have any word in you it's hard for you to say let me say that again it's hard for you to say you may try to stand on your grandma's word you may try to stand on your uncle's word, praise God, hallelujah. But that's only going to get you so far. You need the word in you so you can stand firmly, so your belly can be heavy, praise God. So when that wind blows, hallelujah, I'm telling you, you got meat on your bones, hallelujah. And I'm talking about spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus, because God is so good. He is so good and he wants us all in the know and to know him who is the word, because God is the word. All right, y'all. So we have been focusing on Luke 19, verses 1 through 4. And I'm just going to go over those verses, praise God, right quick before we go into communion. And they read, He entered Jericho and was passing through. That was Jesus. And there was a man called by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and he was rich. He was a chief tax collector and he was rich, y'all. Praise God. He didn't have needs i know many people have needs praise god hallelujah in this realm but i'm telling you we serve a big god we serve a god that when we're obedient to his call he will he will supply our needs i'm telling you, he supplies our needs even when we're not obedient let me say that again because he reigns on the just and unjust he will supply our needs even when we're not obedient that's how good he is zacchaeus was trying to see who Jesus was and was unable because of the crowd for he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree in order to see him for he was about to pass through that way praise god hallelujah so we meditated on this word and we understand hallelujah that zacchaeus ran ahead praise god how do we know that in verse three hallelujah it tells us that zacchaeus was trying to see jesus hallelujah who he was and he was unable to see because he was small in stature praise god and verse four says so he ran on ahead praise god and that's what we're doing i pray that you ran ahead today i pray that you saw miracles i pray that you were in the movement of god doing what he has called you to do i pray hallelujah that you are able to see the signs that god was there that his presence i'm telling you that cloud was with you hallelujah just hovering over you that the presence of the lord is in you and you are moving in the things he has called you to praise God I'm just saying hallelujah that every single day we need to open our eyes to see the blessings all around us to see the blessings hitting us from north east south and west because the Lord is raining them down and there are so many blessings that we are encountering but are we praising the Lord for them are we glorifying God for them praise God are we or or are we being prideful to think that we are doing these things ourselves rather than God pouring out that ability rather than God pouring out that strength you understand hallelujah how does he pour it out through angels 
That's why they have charge over us. They have various charges, you know, hallelujah. They have various uh, um, assignments that they're supposed to do. But when God is pouring out and he is intentional about his pouring and he has assigned particular people with various things, the angels are going to go and accomplish those things. That's why uh, the Bible says, aren't they all ministering angels? Don't they all minister, praise God, hallelujah? Hallelujah. In various uh, uh, sections, praise God, hallelujah, if you want to call that, or in various subjects, hallelujah, you know, it's all about Jesus. So Jesus is the subject. But what I'm saying that there are various um, components in which they minister to and minister for, right? So what, what am I saying here? So if you are an evangelist, you're going to have those minister to you regarding evangelism, right? And if you are a pastor, you're going to have them ministering to you of, about being a shepherd, right? You know, it, it's not all the same ministry. It depends on your role. It depends on your assignment, your post in the body of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's my point. Praise God. And I hope we understand that, that everything is not just, you know, if some people like to just make everything the same and it's not the same. It's not the same. The call on your life, hallelujah, definitely um, is not the same as the person next to you, even though you're standing on the same platform. You may be called to speak into a person's life, praise God, prophetically. You may be in prophecy, you know, standing in the office of a prophet while the person next to you, hallelujah, they may be a teacher. They, they may be a teacher of the word and they do it well, praise God, hallelujah, because the Lord has graced them with that. So we need to understand our role in the body of Christ. But what the Lord was sharing with us with this scripture is that Zacchaeus ran ahead. And this is what he wants us to do is to run ahead in this hour. Run ahead. Do not grow weary. Praise God. Let's uh, pray to the Lord for strength. And let us not delay. Delay ourselves from our destinies. Let us not come into agreement with the enemy. Starting to believe what the enemy is saying about our lives. No. Hallelujah. We cannot slumber during this time when the Lord wakes you up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Just get on up. You know, we have to run ahead, hallelujah, with the intention of seeing Jesus. I love it, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and take communion. I pray that you were blessed today. I pray that you uh, were able to complete your fast, hallelujah, in just excellency in the Lord. In excellency in the Lord. And I pray that he continue to strengthen you so that you can complete this 21-day fast in his uh, 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 presence but also for him hallelujah because it's for him and by him and that you will grow closer in the lord and that he will use you mightily in the kingdom of god that's what i'm praying for for you hallelujah hallelujah that your gifts will just break out that the lord will just use you at opportune times that you will just be moving in the essence of the presence of the lord that you will literally hallelujah be one spirit with god what does that mean? Hallelujah. That you're becoming one with them. You're consecrated, right? You're married to Jesus. Hallelujah. This is not a, a physical, earthly marriage. This is a spiritual marriage. You have become one. That means you have the same mind, same heart. Hallelujah. What he loves, you love, you know. And you're going to move in what he calls you to move in. You're obedient because you know he has a good plan for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're consecrated. You, you, you yielded to the Holy Spirit. That's what this is all about, y'all. Hallelujah. Praise God. And when we are truly yielded and we, when we are truly sons of God, I'm telling you right now, there's nothing that the enemy can do. The enemy may come up and try, hallelujah, no weapon formed against us. Some of you have to get in the habit of when those weapons are formed, hallelujah, not, not when it comes in the physical realm. I'm talking about the Lord will warn his children when it's in the spiritual realm. That's when you're sleeping, y'all. That's when you're dreaming about certain things, praise God, it doesn't quite seem right. And then you get up and you don't do anything about it guess what you're giving it time to manifest over because what happens in the spiritual realm it manifests over into the physical realm so if you're not canceling out things if you're not rejecting the enemy if you're not coming out of agreements that you have made while dreaming yes <laughs> while dreaming understand you're going to start to see some of those things come to fruition it may not look like what you dream praise god you may be walking around with no clothes on in your dream okay but we know in the Bible when Adam and Eve, when they uh, uh, didn't have on clothes, see, you know, you might as well say the before state of Adam and Eve, they were dreaming. You know, they were they were dreaming. 
Why do you say they were dreaming? Because they didn't even recognize they were naked. They were in heavenly bliss, praise God. Hallelujah. It was a dream, y'all. Hallelujah. That's the way that I can describe it. Not to say that the Bible says it's a dream, but the way that I'm describing it is like that. Because sometimes when we dream, we don't recognize that we're dreaming, right? It's just we're dreaming. We don't think it's real. But then when you wake up, your eyes open, right? So Adam and Eve, their eyes open. And then what happened? They saw that they were naked. So they wanted to put on clothes. Well, when you're dreaming and you see yourself naked in your dream, you know, you, you, you have to cancel that. Because what's going to come to manifestation is shame. The enemy is trying to bring shame, embarrassment to you. It's the truth. So you need to go ahead and counsel that in the mighty name of Jesus and be aware of the enemy's attack. Constant attacks. You have to constantly cancel. And I'm telling you, your days will go easier. The places where you work, praise God, they'll be more peaceful because the attacks would have been settled in the spiritual realm. You would have woken up and you were like, uh-uh, I reject that. I listen. I rebuke that. Praise God. Hallelujah. I cancel that in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything with my name on it is canceled in Jesus' mighty name. You know, you go in and you begin to stand on the prayer. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It will not stand and will not come to pass. You go in and you begin to stand on scripture with those things. And guess what? Done. Over. Eliminated cancel praise god hallelujah you can go on with your day in peace in jesus name praise god because we have a good god who will let us know beforehand what is happening all right let's go to chapter 11 of first corinthians this is starting at verse 23 we're getting ready for communion i pray that you have your communion items praise god i have my broken cracker here and i have my grape juice right here okay and so i am ready to move in this praise god thanking the lord for our fast today all right y'all so verse 23 reads for i received from the lord that which i also delivered to you that the lord jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks thank you O lord he broke it and said break it this is my body which i which is for you do this in remembrance of me we do this in remembrance of you, Jesus. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me okay thank you lord For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoso, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself and in doing so, in so doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many young, many among you are weak and sick and a number sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for communion, O Lord. We thank you for day two of the fast. We thank you for us coming together, Lord God, to fellowship in your name, to hear your word, O Lord God. Hallelujah. And to celebrate this day two accomplishment, O Lord God. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you for elevating us, keeping us, increasing us, O Lord God. Thank you for bringing families together in this time, O Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for the reconciliation, O Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for the redemption in Jesus' mighty name. And O Lord God, hallelujah. Thank you for your blood that saved us, O Lord God. Hallelujah. For we can claim our salvation today in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, may your blood rest upon us. May your blood rest in us, O oh Father God. Keep your hand on our shoulder, Lord. Hallelujah. Guide us, keep us in all of our ways. Send the angels of the Lord to protect us, O oh Father God, in everything we do and with everything we have. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for distributing to us the exact instructions we need in this hour, O oh Lord God. We love you and we honor you and we glorify you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name name we pray hallelujah amen 
Let's continue to consecrate unto the Lord. Let's continue to be obedient and let's continue to do what God is telling us to do. For these 21 days, we are going to move in and eat and clean. I will see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Praise God with a uh, morning prayer for our day three. Hallelujah. And I pray that you join me in that prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Prepare your day with a healthy meal. Hallelujah. And just know that Jesus Christ is Lord. He loves you. Hallelujah. And that's all to be said in Jesus' mighty name. I love y'all. Bye. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God.